so I just wanted to show you all um, a few CDNs that host open source JavaScript libraries. So CDNs are content distribution networks or content delivery networks. I'm not exactly sure what the D stands for in CDN, but it's one of the two. And they host open source JavaScript libraries that you can easily include in your code. So here's an example of um, Google hosting Ajax, or not Ajax, AngularJS. I don't know why they have this Ajax directory, but they're hosting AngularJS. Uh, they have these other libraries as well, ETX Core, jQuery, Prototype 3, um, and a few others. Uh, this doesn't have that many, but it has jQuery, which is one of the big ones, as, as well as AngularJS. And then here's a Bootstrap CDN that hosts the uh, minified versions of the Bootstrap source and the, the style sheet for Bootstrap. And then finally, here's one for underscore, but it's really this big one, cdnjs.com, that hosts all these libraries. So Flexi, money.js. And uh, using a CDN is really convenient because you don't have to host the file yourself because chances are you won't be making any modifications to these libraries. So you just need someone else to host it for you. And there are other benefits such as caching. I mean, so many websites in the world use jQuery these days that someone browsing through the internet doesn't need to download 50 different versions of jQuery. They're not even different, they're the same, but they don't need to download one jQuery per website. If they could just download one and have that cached across many websites, things will load a little faster for them. Uh, also with the CDNs, they can direct the person on your site to the closest server to get that file. So if they live in California and there's a data center in California, they can get directed there. Whereas if they live in New York and there's something in, say, Boston, they can get redirected there instead, instead of going to California. So those are a few of the benefits of CDNs. If you're looking for a CDN for any particular library, just Google whatever the library name is and CDN. Um, sometimes they'll have these nice tags already set up for you where you can just copy and paste them into your code. Other times you have to do the hard work of uh, creating these tags yourself, but either way it's still much more convenient than hosting the libraries yourself. So I just want to make this video because it took me years after I started programming to realize there were things like this out there and I could have saved a little bit of time.